So, hey, friends. Last weekend, I went out to Lake Murray State Park, and uh, I kind of toured the whole campground. There's nine campgrounds in this actual state park, plus a lodge and some cabins. So, I had to break this video up into two parts, and this is part two of the tour of Lake Murray State Park. So I'm very curious about this, what the RC flying field is all about. I'm going to go down and check it out. There's no one here. Restrooms and dump station. Oh. There's little electrical hookups all along here. Huh. I have to do some investigating. <laughs> this road just goes and goes and goes. Ah, group camp in Lim Roberts Road. Well, I guess this is the flying field. I don't know. Right, well, I guess I found it. This is the RC flying field. Although, yeah, they didn't make it easy. Huh, how weird. No other information about it. And I even read on the back of the map with all the information, and there's no info about this place at all. Yeah, I don't see anybody else out here. Very cool. But I don't think I'm going to fly my drone here. It's getting really hot, and I think I'm going to move on and go check out the rest of the state park. I'm going to have to look more into what a flying field is. Very cool. These little trees are a great idea for the spectators, but this is going to take about 20 years before they get any real use out of that. <laughs> Good luck, little tree. All right, this is the ATV riding area campground. And it's full. Restrooms and a playground. Very cool. So I guess there's a bunch of trails out here. Oh, I see a razor down there. Makes me think of Candace and Jason. Yeah, lots of people out at this little area. How fun. And like each and every other campground that I've seen so far, they all have dump stations and water. These are super big, deep pull-through sites. Very cool. At least I think they're pull-through. That's awesome. Yeah. This loop is the fullest of one I've seen so far. Awesome. If it wasn't so hot, I think Candace and Jason would love it here. Sunset Beach closes at sunset. Well, I guess that's why it's named that. Really cute little playground right here on the beach. Kind of a day use area. Very nice. Three life jackets to borrow. Very, very cute. This is Martin's Landing Campground, and it's actually one of the most popular ones, and they said it's almost always full. I guess because it's right on the lake. It is indeed crowded, so there's a tent loop and an RV loop. Lots of tenters out. 
Oh yeah, and you could pull your boat right up to your campsite. I get the draw. Got some great pull through sites and plenty of back in sites too. Heck yeah, that's the life right there. Right up, jet skis. That's how you do summer right there, folks. This is tent sites, $14 a tent. It's got that little rock tower. How cool. Let's check it out, shall we? literally just camp right here beside the rock tower and they also have this little group pavilion couple of fire rings how cool it's all closed up but very neat it's got a clock up there I don't think that that's the correct time though what a cute little campsite no one's down here What I have figured out are that the lake breath sites are definitely the most popular when it's 95 degrees outside. Very neat though. Marietta Landing Campground, kind of like all the others. More lakefront, really, really pretty. So this area is pretty much the pride and joy of Lake Murray. This is where all their cabins are. They have a lodge down here. I hear tell there's a swimming pool and whatnot. I bet this gets lots of business. Well, yes, they do have a lovely pool. Lodge and cabin guests only. Very cool. And this seems to be the pride and joy of the park. This beautiful lodge behind me. It's huge because there's lots and lots of rooms and uh, looks like a lot of families really enjoy it. It is very cool. I'm not sure how expensive it is, but it's pretty cool. So this really cute little putt-putt golf course there. Little store, little snacks and stuff. So it's playing on a little swing. Check out all the water toys. How fun. So that's where you can get your kayak rentals and jet ski rentals. Yep, sure enough. How fun. This little family's going to play some miniature golf. It's so cute. The little kids, I want a green one, I want a blue one. So cute, so cute. Just love to see families out doing stuff like this. It makes me happy. Yeah, that looks like a fun little area to play in. Well, I sure did have a blast here this weekend tooling around exploring Lake Murray State Park. I really appreciate you guys coming along with me. I really appreciate the company. So, yep, I hope whatever you're doing this weekend, you are having a great one, too. And until next time, stay lost, my friends. Once, about 25 years ago, my then husband and my daughter and I were heading up to the Chickasha Recreation Area. It's about 50 more miles north, and we just didn't think we were going to make it before dark. That's back when we were tent campers. And so we just pulled into one of the little campsites here and put up our tent. Got it all set up right before dark. Turned out to be one of the most memorable camping trips of our lives. My daughter was maybe 18 months, two years old, somewhere in there. I know it wasn't very hot yet, so it was probably right around her second birthday. She was still in diapers. And uh, she was out dancing in the moonbeams. It was so sweet. She was singing to the moon. Say, Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, come play with me. And he did. He came down and played with her, and she got to dance in the moonbeams. That was really one of the coolest nights of my life. It was so awesome to watch her embrace the outdoors like that. So yeah, I said I haven't been here very many times since then, but 
that was a very magical evening. I wonder if she remembers that. I highly doubt it. She was still on diapers.